I'm not really asking for help. I'm asking for justice. A Fresno man says he is left with two total cars after someone crashed into them, then ran off. Good evening, I'm Monty Torres. And I'm Liz Gonzalez. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. A bizarre hit and run Sunday night left that one Fresno couple's cars undrivable, and now they're asking for your help to identify, identify the driver of the car who caused that whole mess. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Alessio spoke to this Fresno man who says he's sure glad he was, has evidence since the entire thing was caught on his camera. Sophia? Yeah, Liz Monty, that's right. Kenneth King tells me that both of his vehicles, let me just show you right here, both of his vehicles were hit. Now, I just want to show you just how badly this damage was. If you take a look right here, you can see a lot of this damage and there is a lot of that framework. Now, the strange part is when the driver hit both of the vehicles, they actually got out of their truck. The driver and the passenger got out of their truck and ran away, leaving everything. Take a look at this. Around 920 Sunday night, a red truck drives down West Pico Avenue in Fresno. It suddenly speeds up, crashes into one vehicle, goes airborne, and hits another one right behind it. I didn't hear it. I didn't see it. I, I heard my wife holler, somebody hit the car, and I come flying out the door. <laughs> Kenneth King says he was taken back when he saw both of his vehicles badly damaged. And the strange part, the driver and the passenger of the truck jumped out of the car and ran away. They even left the keys in the ignition. Neighbor said he stood there for a minute looking and he says all of a sudden they got out and started walking off. You know, and he says, I didn't know if I should chase them or what I should do. King says he recently installed cameras and he's really glad he did. I'm a believer in the cameras now. It, I didn't have cameras. And my son talked me into putting cameras up. He put them up. He says, you know, you ought to have cameras up in the front of your house. <laughs> King called the police that night, but the officer told him that they couldn't identify who owned the truck and it may have been stolen. But maybe the guy don't know it's stolen yet because it was at 9 o'clock, 9.30 or whatever at night. His insurance told him the best it can do is total both the cars and give them the money. But King says that wouldn't even cover the cost of one car, let alone two. I'm tired of things happening and nothing ever happens. I'd like to find out who did it and like to see him go to jail. Now, King did tell me that his cameras didn't pick up a good picture of the driver's face and neither did his neighbor's cameras. Now, again, this ca this crash did happen around 930 on Sunday night. Now, that is near West Pico and North Holt Avenues in Northwest Fresno. Now, if you do have any additional information, King would be very happy if you did call Fresno Police Department. That number is going to be 559-612-7000. Liz and Monty. You got to feel for him. Absolutely. Both his cars. Exactly. Uh, you can, again, remain anonymous if you'd like. You can also call Valley Crime Stoppers at 559-498-STOP. And one, time, one more time, that number that Sophia gave was 621-7000 for Fresno Police. Want to see more stories like this? Watch Great Day weekday mornings from 5 to 10 and Fox 26 News at 10.